for me and Kyo. This is another great day. I want to show you how to fix a visible zip. I know most people are finding it very difficult to how to fix this visible zip. And without the footer, you cannot fix it perfect. So I am here with the invisible footer, visible zip footer, which you can use to fix your zip. If you can see it, this is how it looks like. So this footer now, let me go to the machine and give you a perfect way and show you how to fix it up. I also have the zip here, so I will show you step by step now to fix it so it will not be difficult for you. So let's Okay, here I am with my invisible zip and the fabric which I want to place the zip on. So as you can see, this is how the zip is going to be when you zip down like this. It's not going to be like this, like the other one which normally mounts or normal zip. It's not going to be, if you put it like this, it is wrong. So this is the perfect way to put it because it's, it is invisible. You cannot see your teeth. Unlike the other one, which you already know. So this one is already sealed. So the easier way for you, the easy way for you to fix this zip is for you to place it like this. You can see, place it like this. To see where, how we can put it. So I don't get confused. You can also lose it, but to know where you, you are standing. As it is like this now, you just place it like this. So, okay, it is going to be like this. So you bring it down. For you, not to, for you not to get confused, you bring this one down and you place this one like this. Place it here and pin it down. Try to place it. Look at what I'm doing. Look at here. If you look closely, you see the edge, the teeth there, where it stops. Place it there and you pin. You pin it down. You can use office pin or you use tailor pin, tailor spin. Pin it down like this. Then let, uh, let me come back to you. I'll show you how to fix your invisible footer on your machine. So when I'm using this manual machine to give you an illustration. This is our normal footer which we use for sewing your fabric. This is the normal footer and the, while this is the invisible footer. So I take it out. As you can see, the two foot are not the same. The two foot are not the same. So, so you place your invisible footer like this. The, the tight. You know this this when you, you tight, you can see. This is where. Let me bring it out for you to see. You can see here. It's just like here. For the normal footer, so you put it in, put it in, and make sure it is tight in the tight. There is one thing about this invisible footer, it moves about, you can move it left and right. There is one thing about this footer, you can move it left and right. So what we want to fix now, it falls on the left hand side. So what you will do is to bring down your needle, your machine needle, bring it down like this. Then set your footer very close to it. Very close. If you make mistake, if you bring it up like this and you set your footer wrong, your, lead, your machine might hit it. You can see it is hitting it. So what you do is to take it back, put your needle down, and take it very close. Take it very close to your to your needle and tight. You can see this knot here. You can see what I'm doing. Tighten it. Tighten it. If you free, if you free this one now like this, if you free it like this now. It gives you the room to move this one like this. That is the essence of the frame. It. So once you have gotten what you want, you tighten it, tighten it, so that it will be stable. It won't be moving, so that it don't break your needle. So this is how to put the footer. 
make sure it is very tight in this one make sure it is very tight so that it doesn't move about so for my for my fabric as as you can see i have as i told you how to pin your zipper and i'll fix the the invisible footer so I, all i will do now is to place it like this the essence of this footer for it to fix well it's this hole this place here this other one does not give you the room for your needle to pass so this place now makes it difficult for you to fix your zip but with this one now you can see if you it is able for you to put it in you can see it's able for you to put it in sorry i have some it's able for you to put it in already i have my my direction line you can see it is hitting it's, it does not fix well let me fix it well again so i have fixed it if you can look see closer that hole there is pushing this place that, I, that i'm pressing down pushing it in then the needle now is going to pass through where it is supposed to pass through unlike this other one your normal footer so all you will do now is just to mash it won't give you any stress i already have my line if i told you my follow up line to try to fix my feet. you can see very easy to fix let me fix a bit and show you how it looks like and i'll complete it see i'm moving fast but you take your own slow until you have mastered it and you can decide to move faster so as you can see i am done with this other part as you saw me sewing you can see how it looks like very neat you can see you can see how it looks like so how to fix the other one you know for you to 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 be as a professional this your line here is supposed to meet each other so for you to get this line it is very tri tricky so you need to apply wisdom in order to get it very neat so what i do here now once this it is like this i will turn it over i will turn it over like this and find this other part which you are seeing here so this other part Make sure it aligns with this other one. Make sure it aligns with this other one. Then I pin. And I pin. So if you turn it like this, you see it is aligned. So once you sew it, it will be like this. So I pin. And I will see pin the up. The up. As I told you, pin the up too. And the, the, this up to you, I have to make sure it aligns with this other. You can see my line, as I told you. This is where my zip is going to follow through to the down part. I have to get this line. I sew my zip allowance and iron it, straight water and iron it. And when I lose my zip, I have my line where the zip is going to run through. Very easy. So I align it. Make sure it aligns the, the up, aligns together like this. Make sure it is together like this. You can see it. Like make sure it is together. Then you pin. Then you pin. Then you turn over. Correct if it is not equal, you correct it. But let me see how this one comes out. It's okay, this one is okay. It's okay. All you do now is to open your zip down, open it down.
don't don't so too much so that you'll be able to bring back the zip after it has after you have zip it down so let's go to the sewing of the other parts so i want to shift the teeth to the other side we are done with this side so i shift to the other side bring my needle down make sure it is not dis distracting our peaceful sewing okay it is tightening it has tightened it so all i will do is also to sew like the other side and i will show you how it comes out as you can see now i have fixed it the other side and i have ironed it you can see how it looks sealed nice you can see it so this is how to fix it this goes it so i will go ahead and close here i go ahead and close there so then it will, i'll show you what i'll go ahead and close here so Thank you all for watching.